Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I would like to show you how to set up a Git server on Windows in a local isolated environment without an internet connection. We will use Git because the setup will only take us just a few minutes. So let's get started. So we're going to use Git for our Git server. And to download it, go to about.gitty.com slash product slash Git and then download the server for Windows. So I already have done this. And in the next step, you need to create a folder on your computer where all your files will be located. So here I have it, for example, on my C drive. And um, you can also use a network drive for that. Make sure that you have enough space on a disk because all your files, your database and your server executable will be in that place. So what I usually do, I put the server executable also in that folder so that I have everything in the same place. And then I'm launching it by just double clicking on that. So what this will do, it will open up a command line and it started the service on localhost. And when I hold the control key and click on that, it will open up the web browser on localhost and I can start my Git configuration. And the process is pretty straightforward because most of the default settings, they are good enough for us. So we just need to switch the database type to SQLite free and it will create a new database within our folder. Then we will leave everything as it is. And the only thing we will change is the Git base URL. We would like to access this in the local network, so we need to replace this via the IP address of the computer. So if you don't know how to get the IP address, what you can do is you can press the Windows key and then type in CMD, and that will open up your command prompt. And the only thing you need to enter here is ipconfig, and what you need to know is the IP version 4 address. And that's basically what you need to copy and then paste here, and then everything is set up correctly. So that's all you need to do, and then you can click on Install Git. All right, the installation is finished, and now we need to register an account. But before we're gonna do this, let's replace the local host with our IP. So we enter the IP. Now, if we have this address, everything should work correctly. So let me add a username to that. So now let me register the account and now I'm in the web UI of Gitty. The first thing I would like to do is add a collaborator that I would like to work with it. So for that, I go in the top right corner on site administration, identity and access, user accounts. I'm creating here a new user account. Now let me create the new user account. Good, then let's go back and create our repository by clicking on the plus here. I enter a name and I want to make the repository private. The reason why I would like to do this is it makes the login later from the Git client much easier. And I would like to have also some access control. Let's say I work on more than one project with multiple people. I would like to control who has access to which project. All right, let me go down and then click on create repository. Good, that's it. We created the repository and now we have the URL and this is the URL we will use for our Git client. But before we push any files, we need to add our team member also to that Git repository. So we go to the settings collaborators and we add our user and we add the collaborator. That's basically it. We have done everything on the Gitty side. So now I will use my Git client, in this case AnchorPoint, to upload my Unreal Engine project to this Gitty server. And I have to do a similar procedure here again. So first of all, I will invite a member and this is basically why I will invite my team member. So here I'm entering the email address and I already have done this. So my team member is also my team here. Then under my projects, I click on create a new project. Then I choose Git repository and I will browse to the path of my project. Then in the next step under remote settings, I will pick connect via HTTPS. And here we will paste the link from our Git server. Now let's wait until the credentials are checked. And because we have not checked any Git credentials yet, we're doing this for the first time, we need to log in to Git. When I click on this button, Git will ask me if I grant access to this application. So let's authorize and that's basically it. Let me go down here. Now I can basically continue. So I will use a git ignore template for Unreal Engine. I will continue. I will leave the name as it is and I'm adding here Catherine from before and I click on create project and it will create the git repository locally now. So now I see that I'm in a timeline and I have these 520 changed files and basically these are all my Unreal Engine project files. And now I would like to push them to the Git server. I'm typing a message and I click on sync. All right, now let me see if my files are on the server. So I need to open up this page and refresh and all the files are here at the server. So the Git server is working as expected. So here I am on the team member side and this is what your team member gets when she starts anchor point, basically an invitation to join the Git repository. So this is basically the project. Now I click on join Git repository. It is checking the credentials. 
And now we need to log in to Git as well, like we did before. And here we need to log in to our local Git server. So we use the username, we sign in, and we also authorize the application. And let's go back to Anchor Point, and now we can add the folder here where we would like to download the files. So I will do this. And we would like to download everything. Let's click on Join, and now it will download all the files from our local Git server. So that's basically it. Now I can modify files and push new commits, and we can work together on an Unreal Engine project. Thank you for watching.